Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program! In this episode, we're going, going to be observing my attempts at testing out cathane drilling. Uh, in the first section here, this is all uh, post-commentary, so I'm kind of talking in the past tense. This first portion here, you'll see uh, I attempted to modify one of the stock planes uh, to include a little bit of uh, cathane storage and conversion equipment and whatnot. Um, and as you can see, I have a little problem which begins right here that the nose just takes up, points up into the air, um, a, a good number, a good, good bit into my flight, and I go into a spin. And this continues for many kilometers when here I, I, I'm a barely beginning using RCS to get control of this spin and I nearly stop it. I nearly, nearly pull out of it but I just can't keep the nose pointed prograde or in my direction of travel to get lift back off of the wings and it just goes into a tumble and I'm completely lost in there. I bash into the ground. So that's that's over, that's done with. I That was my first real foray into any flying any distance and I'm not a fan. So I go back to the old trusty rocket here. On the launch pad you can see I've got a very, very ugly rover-ish type object on the top of a standard, like my standard satellite lift. Um, I didn't really worry about the Delta V because I'm not even planning to make orbit. So this should be plenty to get me, you know, mostly wherever I want to go. Uh, go ahead and take off and uh, trying to plan my, plan my flight. I'm um, heading, attempting to head uh, west across the planet to there's a large cathane deposit there if you recall from my last video um, and as I get this thing going um, I will let uh, leak here this is my first attempt <laughs> just as I get this thing up into the air I uh, did my I'm doing my gravity turn pretty early because I didn't feel like I needed to gain much altitude and I get a little bit overzealous quickly quickly losing control and as you can see at this point we're now heading downward so I decide I'm gonna go ahead and uh, abort essentially trigger all my stages and testing out the landing mechanisms for this crazy ugly rover cathane mining thing and this time um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's working. It's working good, which uh, you, you might guess by my this time that there's more to this story. But uh, we get the chutes open, and, you know, the landing legs don't help out a lot in the water. So as soon as I hit, you know, boosh, there's a couple of pieces, and that's it. So attempt number two, I didn't make any changes. I just went back to the launch pad, relaunched, and we're taking off. I'm just going to fly it a little more carefully this time. So we'll see how this goes. At this point, I'd like to say I'm really sorry about there being some jerkiness in the rest of this video. Um, it's in the source recording, so I can't fix it after the fact here, but I try to keep, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet so that it's not too bothersome. So this time, I'm a lot more careful with the controls. We're making our way up, and I'm getting a lot more altitude this time, but that ends up kind of being a good thing, that it looks like, um, I believe I do just end up scraping outer space. So we've got the, uh, most of the initial, initial lift is done, just that last center column, and I got my RCS turned on, oh, pardon me, got my RCS turned on quite early this time to try to prevent myself from tipping over too far. Um, so while I'm getting up into this uh, kind of low flight, or rather high flight, I guess, if it's just a flight, high flight trajectory, uh, I can talk about the rig thing that I've got attached to the top of this rocket. It's got just a couple of fuel storage tanks. It's got some rover wheels slapped onto the side in kind of a weird fashion, but just enough so that nothing drags on the ground. Uh, I've got a, a couple of cathane storage tanks. I've got the large, I believe it's the larger, no, sorry, it's the, the smaller like combined, I forget what it's called at the moment, it's the, the combined converter will do conversion to any of the regular fuel sources, fuel, RCS, or xenon gas, um, and I've got an electrical generator powered by, uh, the cathane powered electrical generator, and I also have the cathane powered engine, which is the thing right on the tip you might be able to just see there. Uh, so this thing's a multi-purpose, oh, and of course I've got two uh, drills mounted on the side and the landing legs which you probably noticed because they stick out and look looks like kind of a weird weird tiny winged dragon fly thing I don't know 
Um, so, and then I've also got, you can might be able to see on the side briefly, uh, a number of small engines that I'm hoping that perhaps this thing can do a slight hover um, and also f to use those to assist in the landing. Uh, there are two parachutes on the top, which you saw during the last attempt, last test. So here we're re-entering the atmosphere just after uh, barely reaching outer space. But unfortunately, I have a lot more velocity than in the previous test. So when these chutes fully open, uh, you can see there's a problem. I actually lose some pieces off the front, the cathane power engine, a battery pack, there they go, and a couple of landing legs. So that makes the landing a little rougher than I expected. Um, how, but so we still have all of the pieces for our primary objective, which is to test drilling and conversion of cathane to see exactly how that goes. Um, also still have the cathane powered electrical generator. So I had to do a little wiggling around there. Thankfully, I landed in the cathane, so I go ahead and start up the drills. And after letting those run for a while, get some cathane built up and converted, uh, get my fuel tanks filled up, and I'm ready to go ahead and test out my supposed hovering ability. However, this ends poorly, as you can see, because the loss of equipment has rather unbalanced the ship. Uh, so... Um, it, it doesn't work out at all how I expected, and you can see I get myself stuck upside down. But still, overall, landed in, in a mainly one piece, um, and the drilling and conversion worked well. I learned a lot about design changes that I need to make <laughs> as well. So thanks everybody for watching. I uh, appreciate you all uh, watching these videos. I really enjoy this Kerbal Space program series, so next time we're going to probably go to another planet to drill.